At the beginning of the century, only three men had claimed the Borg Warner Trophy four times. In 2021, that changed. Last year, Castroneves joined the likes of Foyt, Mears, and Unser in immortality. Will this be the first year that one man raises the cup for a fifth time? Challenging Elio's historic drive will be new faces, Kyle Kirkwood, David Malukas, and Devlin DeFrancesco from within, all Indy Lights drivers, and Kirkwood a champion. From the outside, drivers coming from the European Formula Series, Romain Grosjean, Christian Lungard, and Callum Eilat seek legend not only in American open wheel racing, but the greatest spectacle in racing. Elio even faces a NASCAR challenge from Jimmy Johnson with seven Cup Series championships, five of those coming in as many years. He will also recognize many of his other challengers by their faces on the Silver Cup. Kanan, Dixon, Power, Rossi, and Pagenaud all have tasted glory. Juan Pablo Montoya and Takuma Sato taking two trips each to victory lane seven other winners, all seeking another bus to be added to the historic trophy, but only one can cross the yard of bricks first. The ever-present danger in this cathedral of speed reminded some of its bike first in testing earlier this year. Alexander Rossi spinning on an install lap was the first to be worn. Then it was Castroneves' turn, damaging the very car that drove him to his fourth victory. Will Power spun up onto the track, causing Colton Herta to take evasive action and lose control of his car, crashing into the wall. All of these mistakes originating from winners, the aggression and drive to win pushing them over the edge. Other incidents have occurred in practice this month of May. Jimmy Johnson has twice nearly been stung, only to continue in his pursuit of victory. Takuma Sato also hit the wall, pancaking his car in his qualification run. Santino Ferrucci and David Malukas made contact during final practice, a tire on Malukas' car being cut, causing him to spin. Colton Herta was the biggest and most recent of the crashes, flipping after turn one. For over a hundred years, drivers have come to this track in search of speed. This year, when the pressure was turned up for qualifying, it was Scott Dixon who answered the call posting an average speed of 234.046 miles per hour, setting the pole speed record. Dixon joined the five-time pole sitters club as well. Will he be the only one to make five-time history by the end of May? This historic race, the greatest single sporting event in the world, is returning from a 40% attendance due to restrictions. This year, more than 90% of the 260,000 seats have been sold in the stands, and thousands more are ready for infield and standing room. This brings us back to the greatest attendance since the 100th running in 2016. Ray Haroon won the inaugural 500-mile sweepstakes race in 1911. Since then, 776 men and 10 women have tried to do the same. Today, seven more rookies are adding their names to that number. Alongside them, 26 veterans, 18 of those have yet to taste the milk in victory lane, five former one-time winners, a pair with two wins, but today, only one man hopes to drive for five here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway.